What does Abernathy have to say? Whoa, well, uh, did, uh, did Mr. Thompson send you? Well, you tell Mr. Thompson I'll be right at my post tomorrow. Uh, bright and early tomorrow, because I'm definitely not plagued. This spry is a spring chicken. <laughs> That's old Abernathy. He didn't send me. And what are you doing here? Visiting? Well, let me give you the grand tour. This here's my domicile, and there's the door. Uh-huh. What? No. I mean, uh, I might be. That depends on who's asking. Just here to collect the fees. Silas knows, doesn't he? That's why he sent you. That's why he wants me to pay up. He knows. He knows what? I'm dying. I'm not long for this world. The date of my expiration is fast approaching. And soon I shall be ushered through the great cannery in the skies. It's plague. Has to be. Silas knows. He knows I got one foot in my grave, and now he wants to charge me for the other one. Sorry to hear that. You are? Oh, wow. First time anyone's ever told me that. I'll pay your fees. I don't want any trouble from Silas. But if you could see a way to freelancing for me, I could really use the help. How can I help? There's a cache of anthracillin tucked away in the old community center. Powerful stuff. Stronger than what we got, anyway. I need you to break in, nab that medicine, and bring it back to me. Hmm. I have some questions first. Well, I can. I tried medicating myself with Adrena time. Didn't do much for me, as far as I can tell. Anyway, I can't just buy medicine. Distribution of medicine is strictly prohibited to any workers beneath the acceptable margin of health. Oh. Company policy. More like the company won't treat me because I'm not healthy enough. You will not find any guards within sight of that old place. Marauders, on the other hand. I have it on good authority. There's a gang of them squatting there. I advise stepping softly. So you'll do it then? Yeah. You'll oblige me with your haste. I think I feel the plague spreading. Oh, Lord, it's in my spleen now. I can feel it. Just keep your head down when you're in there. Marauders have taken over. Probably tracking mud all over the archives. Hmm. I know that, but I got nobody else to turn to. Reed would have wrote me up. Constable would have locked me up and wrote me up. Could have gone to see the good vicar, but I never did find my courage. I will leave now. After I see if you have anything worth stealing. Nothing? Oh well. You're making a mistake working hmm? for Abernathy. Really? Excuse me. I'm Esther Blaine, Spacer's Choice Actuary. I overheard your talk with Abernathy. I hope you're not thinking about getting him that medicine. Abernathy is a well-known hypochondriac. Anthracillin is wasted on him. You're better off selling it to me instead. He has symptoms of something. All I'm saying is Abernathy's worked in this town longer than some of us been alive. How do I put this gently? He's, uh... He's got a lot of cobwebs up in his attic. What do you need it for? I probably shouldn't tell you. Don't want you implicated for what I'm trying to do. Let me worry All about right. that. 
Here's a summary. A lot of sick people in this town, and we don't have the medicine to treat them all. Can't reach out to corporate without crossing a river of red tape, so I'm reaching out to you. I'm paid better pay? than Abernathy. Whatever he's giving you, I will do you one better. I'll think about it. That's all I can ask of you. Okay. Yes. Pretty sky. No, oh, that's this way. So glad it's an unlimited sprint, no stamina. Walk next to that barrel. What? Being explosive. Yes, item repair. Assault rifle. Use this for a little. Hey, does this use? Heavy ammo, okay, yeah. Hmm. Can okay, replace it with that for now. What's going on? 
Oh, that was weird. It wouldn't let me equip it. What? Okay. What are those? Magpit. Could I buy any of those from the store? Let's find out. If you're falling Sorry. sick, I don't want you near me. It's not the best choice. Music to my ears. armor parts I have. I think I should be fine. What is that? Oh. I don't think that's a good idea. 
No. <laughs> Not at all. Yeah, I already got you guys. Okay, what's in here? really did I check the bodies that if they're still even around uh, I think the bodies disappeared Hope they didn't have anything good on them. Test this out. Thanks for the ammo back. Save before entering here. Don't turn around. Stay away! Do you have anything? Okay. Glad these people have awful hearing. Ha <laughs> ha. 
<laughs> oh. Again. Okay. Wait. No. How does that look? Tech skills. Same. Back to the front. A code first aid key card. Can't do that yet. Mm. I might just not be able to do this one right now. I get level four. No, I don't want to go there. Level four isn't that far away. Thank you. 
away. Where did they all come from? Did they come from upstairs? Stealth kill skills minus five, no. Did I open these? No. Ooh. I got the key. Stealth minus five, though. Ooh, that looks cool. Opened it. Without hacking or rewriting a card. Cool. Now let's get out of here. Guessing the glands are one of its weak spots. Okay, that looked weird. Oh. I could just fast travel back.
That's a neat looking sword. I give them to her. Just in case I change my mind. After I do it. And her decision her what she does with it is bad. I've got some time. Thanks. I'll see to it that this medicine gets to the people who need it. Here, something for your trouble. Nothing personal, but I hope we never do business together again. Don't want to make a habit of consorting with smuggler types. You do have some cheek on you. Lucky for you, I kept a little contingency fee in case you tried to negotiate with me. <laughs> Somebody deserving. Silas on account of him being out in the cold. Amelia seeing how she's around people all the time. Anybody in the sick room? Oh, I'm an actuary. That means I keep tabs on a worker's living expenses. How much it costs to feed, clothe, shelter, bury, and replace your average human worker. Technically, I'm employed by the Spacer's Choice Department of Human Resources. Yay. What do I want to skill up? I guess... Like what was I saying before? Yes. Yes. Some more in dialogue. I'll put the rest in dialogue. Or. Um. Yeah, range is fine for now. Tech one more, yeah. Okay, what perk do I want? Vendor price twenty percent down.
Could probably do that, because I don't have any companions yet. Okay, what side quest do I want to do now? I have to talk to Reed. I have to talk to Reed for that too. I guess that one. Save one more time. Different slot this time. See if you had anything new to say. What can I do for you? Wait. What can I do? F Go ahead. Hmm. Not what I wanted to do. Okay, good. I didn't want to. Guess that calls the elevator. You the new worker? Whatever. Make it no. quick, Tenderfoot. I'm busy. <sighs> Foreman Granger, mind those words don't come out of your mouth unless preceded by yes or right away or thank you. Shit. Silas still on about that? Here, take the fees. I'd appreciate it if you didn't tell Reed I was late on my payment. Because they're not my fees and not my gravesite. Guy I worked with shot himself. I paid the bill. Wow. If you're not familiar with board law, you ought to be. Law requires delinquent gravesite fees to be paid by the deceased party's closest living relative, which meant me. Shame, though. Eugene was a good worker. Woke up one morning and put a round through his upper story. Can't imagine why. The kid was doing all right at his desk. We all thought he was an upstanding receptionist. Just between the two of us, I'm pretty shocked his weapon didn't misfire. Spacer's choice handguns aren't the most reliable. Hmm. Not half as awful as the bill Eugene left us with. Suicide's a crime. The legal term is irreparable damage to company property. What Eugene Whoa. did to himself was vandalism. What? Yeah, seriously. In fact, I'm a little upset Eugene didn't think things through. In other words, Edgewater would have been penalized pretty hard. Whatever Eugene was worth as an asset, we would have had to pay out of pocket to Spacer's Choice. Well, excuse you. 
I'll have you know, Eugene was an asset to us all. May his atoms be commended to the law. All I know is Silas asked me for Eugene's gravesite fees, which means he was approved for burial, which means his papers went through, which means the town's in the clear. I'm just glad to put this whole ugly affair behind me. Eugene can rest his bones in peace, and the rest of us can get on with our own lives. That is screwed up. Yeah, I'm gonna go talk to him. Tell him about Conrad. Grave digging's a fine profession. Always work to be had, and nary a word of complaint out of your clients. You run into any trouble? Yes, Conrad. Conrad's barbershop is a yawning pit that swallows his every bit. I keep telling him he should cut a few corners, skimp out on the disinfectant. You gotta put the squeeze on Conrad. Find some dirt on him. Maybe check his back room. Well, that's the word, extortion. Been on the tip of my tongue all day. <laughs> okay. Is anyone in here? Industrial <laughs> accident successfully interred in gravesite thirteen F. Missing a hand, deducted five bits from grave swipe fee. Okay.
house. Actually, stop looking at me. Yeah, I believe I've already looked back here. What can I do for you? Go ahead. Edgewater has been good to me. I consider myself privileged to work here. I am never wanting for work, not since the plague started. As the good vicar says, work fortifies the spirit of a man. If you want to feel exhausted, try not having any work. The plagues come at us with a vengeance this year. Lost six workers in as many months. I wouldn't call them good workers, mind you. If they were any good, they'd have been treated. Still, it is a shame. Fever, chills, fatigue, aching, vomiting, an excess of phlegm, a tendency towards belly aching. Whatever it may be, I have developed my own palliative. Boiled canid liver and a splash of ethanol. Company policy, friend. We don't have enough medicine to treat all of us, so we treat the best among us. <laughs> Nature is monstrous, friend, and this plague is natural selection at work. Edgewater has been good to me. I am never one. Was the back room? I was one of the four people. Rubber shot. Up. Circling around for leverage. Well, there's bodies in here. Oh, wait a minute. Reception has shot himself. This is bad. Company is going to have to call it for what it is. Destruction of Spacer's Choice property. Eugene was an asset and somebody has to pay f his body price. This is going to ruin us. So I was thinking that we'd pawn off his teeth. Eugene had a full set of gold teeth. Heirlooms passed down from his family or something. Okay, so he's going to sell. Yeah. What can I do for you? You know about Eugene? How? The, the note in the back room there that you just left out in the open. Then, you know Phyllis suggested selling off Eugene's gold teeth. I didn't approve of the idea then, and I don't approve of it now. Eugene's golden teeth were a family heirloom, representing three generations of poor dental hygiene. He took them to his grave. That's unthinkable. Eugene's body and all rare earth minerals contained therein are solely the property of Spacer's choice. I can't ask Silas to dig up a man's body and pry a few teeth loose from his jaw just to pay my bills. Can I? Hmm. Yes, I suppose I must. Here you are. Gravesite papers affixed with my signature and an IOU.
Eugene was not a suicide. He put a bullet in his brain, yes, but that's largely a technicality. I was the one who prepared Eugene's body for interment. I discovered symptoms of the plague on his corpse, mm. and I discovered medicine in his pocket. Lots of medicine. Eugene overdosed on Adrena time, which is known to cause psychosis and paranoia as possible side effects. The paranoia drove him to take his own life. It's a miracle of bureaucracy. If Eugene's death were filed as a suicide, we'd all pay the price for his crime. We can all thank our lucky stars that young Eugene was hopped up on medication and suffered its predictable side effect. I included it all in my official report. I'd like to think I saved Edgewater a great deal of money. We never could have paid the fines associated with a suicide. Okay, now back to finish this quest. Oh no, textures. <laughs> Something I can do for you? Yeah? The colony ship? Are you talking about that old rumor? Some great big starship packed full of colonists what got lost in the Aether never to be found again. <laughs> Ain't heard that one since I was but a stripling. Can't say it was terribly convincing far as rumors go. Is there a reason you asking? All right, easy now. No need to get your hackles up. Maybe you've been out in the sun too long. Why don't you head over to the cantina? Get yourself some zero G brew. It's a brew that's good for what ails you. Look, I don't know what's got you caterwauling about hope this and colony that, but you need to stop. Or there's gonna be trouble. Why? Trouble's in the asking. Or don't much care for folk running their mouths, spreading hoaxes and the like. Frankly, neither do I. Something I can do for you? Yeah? What about him? Well, yeah. It's what I'm contractually obligated to do. What's this about? Hmm. Yeah. Funny thing, Eugene's body ain't where it's supposed to be. The night we were supposed to commend his body to the earth, I had his grave all dug up and ready, right? And so I thought, I'll just rest my eyes a bit. When I woke up, his body was gone. Spirited away, vanished. The footprints nearby suggested that Eugene was stolen by marauders. Or he rose from the dead. Let me know if you find anything. Yeah? Mm. Okay. That's all? Something I can do for you? You run into any trouble? Reliable work from a freelancer. Yay. It's gonna take some getting used to. And I'll buy you a drink sometime. Uh, suppose you've earned it. 
One good turn deserves another. Abernathy was sick? With the plague? That's disgusting. I shook hands with the guy. Huh. What? No. If I knew he was sick, I would have had him reported. I needed his fees because of his name. A for Abernathy. He was at the top of my list, you see? Yeah? Okay, I guess that's everything. That quest is done. Yay. Let's reduce the die robot. See if I have anything to sell first off. Another day at the cannery. Work your job. Music to my ears. <laughs> so Shotgun, assault rifle. The same. That looks cool. Mm -hmm. Energy weapon. Don't need a pickaxe. Same. Light assault rifle. Damn it.
What does this look like? No. No. We're... Fix that, I guess. Music to my ears. for sale. How much? Nine hundred. Hmm. Nah. Something got you down? Nothing. Just don't want to fall sick. Somebody's been rambling about some colony shit. We don't get a lot of this. Our place in the universe is fixed. Yes, what is it? You're an outsider. Fantastic. Vicar Maximilian de Soto at your service. Or Vicar Max, if you're the sort who prefers brevity. I so rarely get new people to talk to. Name your poison, anything at all. Spiritual counseling? This season's toss ball predictions, the quickest way out of town. Toss ball? Mechanical tomfoolery is well out of my purview. I suggest you take such matters to Mr. Thompson in the cannery. Okay. Oh, and a word of warning. If you're considering wandering around outside the safety of the town, you'd best be cautious. Marauders are about. Though, if you are planning on venturing outside, I do have a proposition that may interest you. One well, of course. the reasons I transferred here was to fulfill my duty in hunting down banned heretical texts. I happen to know such a book is, as we speak, tainting a collector's library in Emerald Vale. However, the collector's residence lies outside the town's walls. My retrieval efforts have been thwarted by marauders who have overrun the property. Should you fare better than me, I'd pay a handsome sum for the book. So you'll consider it? Yes. I do appreciate you hearing me out, and, um, your discretion. It's a handwritten journal, a faded blue cover with the name M. Bakonu handwritten in the lower corner. I'll mark where I saw it on your map. Assuming you're serious? Yeah, I'll look for it. But I'm gonna ask this first. I just want to keep the writing out of layman's hands. 
It wouldn't do for such information to fall into public consumption. On the contrary, my position means that I am one of the few legally allowed to possess such items. But do not worry. You'll be safe since you are acting on my behalf. Glad we see eye to eye. Thank you. If you retrieve it, you can always find me here. Yay, another quest. Hey there, Mary. Don't see you round here too often. My name's not Mary. I just oh. to talk to the vicar is all. Huh. <laughs> None of us are above confessionals. Did not see that person there. Where is this? Okay. I don't think I've been in here yet. Or over there. I've mostly been in this. And... Why are you walking backwards? That's not gonna open. I'm sorry. I'll just be a minute. You're out of it. This way? That is Conrad's place. It's over here. And over there. Is that just another entrance to the cannery? No. Goodies. Let me just close that. Raid this place's kitchen. Uh, I can't read that note. Money. Hmm? I have enough. Ooh. Employer rights, not employee rights. Overtime may result in higher pay if the quality of said work is considered exemplary. employer has the right to dock your pay should you damage any facilities or equipment. It is your responsibility, not your employer's, to avoid workplace hazards. <laughs> it's so backwards. Where 
towards this lead. Hmm? Wait a minute. Is this... The cannery still? Mm -hmm. Really? Really, I could just take that. Can I? Spacer's Choice Geothermal Facilities. Spacer's Choice is proud to bring the colonists of Halcyon moderately innovative technology at a reasonable price. Unable to comply, the power regulator unit may not be disengaged while the transformer is active. What happens if I pull it? Ah, ow. Okay. <laughs> oh. That looks like a... Uh, Interesting. Okay, there's something about that, though. Like there's a possibility that I can take it. over here. Got to be careful. Are people here? They might see me. Oh. Yeah, this is. Wait, did it have to load before? Yeah, I'm just gonna leave for now. Some other stuff I want to explore.
turn on engine, try it again, try it again, kick the loader, curse injured toes. <laughs> I have to enter a minimum of eight steps. Try again. It makes rattling noise. Oh, that's what I discovered. A shock cannon. Do not have any mods. Okay. It's not somebody's house, is it? None of this stuff is stealing. Spacer's guide. And we'll start reading on that. This and then I will. I've been feeling pretty low these days. Nothing I can do about that. Is this stealing? Yes. Welcome to the Spacer's Choice Constabulary. We are Halcyon's leading brand in frontier justice. The office is writing up promotion. Purchase three criminal investigations, and the fourth one's free. Know how to carry yourself in a fight? I've got bounties out for these three marauders. 
Cross them off and bring me their fingers. Just one per marauder, please. Okay. Dust off the old fingerprint roller. As long as your questions fall within the acceptable margins of curiosity. His likeness decorates many a wanted poster. Do you have any relevant information about this individual? Mm-hmm. Shot you into space. You know, lying to a Spacer's Choice constable is a violation of company policy and punishable by a fine. Hmm. Unfortunately, the arrest of Mr. Wells falls outside my authority. I enforce the company policy of Spacer's Choice in the region of Emerald Vale. Wells is wanted by the board. If you have information related to the location of Phineas V. Wells, you are required to submit that information to your nearest board authority. Something to report? As long as your questions fall with... If this is a setup to a joke, you should know I've never found anything amusing in my life. Wow. I don't serve Edgewater. Edgewater and the entire region of Emerald Vale serves Spacer's Choice. Spacer's Choice is a wholly owned subsidiary of Universal Defense Logistics, which occupies a seat on the Halcyon Holdings Corporation, also known as the board. I must admit it bothers me that you don't already know this. Flattery won't get you anywhere with me. The bureaucracy is a noble profession, but not all of us are gifted enough to serve in it. If this is a setup to a joke, you should... I don't... Hmm. Careful, stranger. Talk like that comes dangerously close to sedition. Something to report? As long... Hmm. Yeah, okay, let's see that. What is this one? Ooh, pretty far out there. And this one? It'll be on the way. position I wonder if the, looking at these is going to give more dialogue options. Let's see. Something to report? No. What's this? Sometimes I wonder what I'm doing with myself. Okay. Oh. That was the barber shop where he was. What's this? The cantina. 
got to keep our heads up. I don't have time for this. Never seen you here before. You a visitor? Welcome. On behalf of the Spacer's Choice family, let me welcome you to... to, uh... Where am I again? You don't know? <sighs> what? No, I'm Winslow. Lester Winslow. Says so right on my permanent record. I am in no condition to do any work. Not so long as my injuries trouble me. Yep. Got my mitt stuck in a rotor wheel. Shredded my wrist up real good. Conrad went and sewed up my hand, but I couldn't do much about the pain. Boss was real generous to me, though. Got myself a 5% discount on Zero-G Brew. After the second bottle, the only pain I feel is emotional. <sighs> Hey, Conrad's a surgeon. Well, he's a barber. That's like surgery, but for your hair. Okay. Hey, it's... Numb to the bone, thanks to Zero-G Brew. Zero-G Brew. It's an ale that's good for what ails you. Just gotta keep our heads up. sound. <laughs> the outside. Okay. Don't think there's anyone else in here. What's on this side? I appreciate the company and all, but you really ought to leave. You don't want to be seen around me. Because I'm sick, you don't want to associate with people in the sick house. We're not worth your time. I'm in about as much trouble as I can be. No reason you ought to be tarnished by association. People are gonna talk. Figured it was obvious. I got sick. Couldn't get better on my own. Got moved here for everyone's sake. Maybe you don't know this, but there's a real simple reason you don't talk to the plagued. You don't want what we've got. 
Don't. Please. I could get into a lot of trouble. That's kind of you to say, I suppose. But I don't need help. What I need is to understand my own folly. Company always tells us weak spirits lead to weak bodies. If I didn't want to fall sick with plague, maybe I should have worked harder. Maybe I should have taken more pride in my work. Yeah, you can't blame yourself. I really wish you wouldn't say those sorts of things. I told you once already. People could be listening. Then I'll just kill I'm them all. feeling a touch faint. If you don't mind, I'd like to be alone for a spell. Esther's got medication? How? Did the boss get a new shipment? I'm sorry, it's just I thought we couldn't spare the medicine. Nope, I'm sorry. I can't accept help from Esther. If I deserved treatment, I wouldn't be here. Why? That is exactly what I've been doing. Not my place to doll out punishment. Not even against myself. All right, you made your point. If Esther offers to treat me, I won't turn her down. Good. Talking about the little creatures? Huh. Okay. Emerald Veil. Borst worst? <laughs> That's gross. Ugh. Where am I heading? What is that? Oh. Back that way. <laughs> 